Howdy y'all, welcome back to Iguana Gaming. I'm the Iguana and today guys we are playing some more Ark Survival Evolved. Today we are back on the Lone Ranger series guys and we are going to continue working on our general store here. I think the exterior of the building is looking pretty solid. We've got our little awning, um, have kind of that classic like slightly higher front on it. Um, and I think it looks really really good from the front. So. The real trick to doing a general store, guys, is getting the interior to be correct because really the interior is where everything super matters. So this is going to be where most of the challenge in this build is. So that's what we're going to start working on right away. Um, now we do have some things we are going to need to get. Uh, I have been <laughs> saving up Amber all week. Oh my gosh. Okay. I have been saving up Amber all week. Here we go. Okay, so we have been looking at getting some of these premium items. Where are they? Might be at the top. Okay, there we go. Um, so I have some of these premium items kind of picked out. I think we're going to be taking some of these cheaper items in particular. Um, definitely the table. Uh, probably some of these chairs just for looks because they are going to be perfect for that. I um, think we might start with the table though. That should be a thing. All right. There's definitely going to be a couple of tables in here, but I think this particular table, there it is, is going to be extra important. I need some mending paste for it, don't I? I do. All right. Uh, I guess we'll have to go and get some mending paste over here real quick. So once we get the tables in place, kind of where I want those to go, then we're going to fill the rest up with um, shelves and all sorts of storage. But I do want there to be some display tables because that does seem like something kind of important for a general store. Where do I keep the cementing paste? There we go. Uh, let's just take this to make it actually. All right, so we're gonna make, uh, let's go with three of these. It is gonna get a little bit expensive on the amber here, but that is why I have been saving up um, pretty much, pretty much all week with the amber ads. It's been kind of crazy. I've been hitting them pretty hard so that we could do this. And I'm actually kind of excited to see how it turns out. Uh, now I also need some stone because we are definitely going to want vases. Do I have enough stone? I am going to need a little bit more stone particularly. Um, and then I also have some other items here that we're going to use um, as we decorate as well. It's just going to be kind of a process. There's my stone. All right, let's go ahead and make one of these. I could make one of the fancier vases, but um, I don't really have the crystal or the megalodon teeth right now. We haven't really been going out and hunting sharks, because uh, that's not very old western. So we might put that off and pick one up later off cam, but we'll see how that uh, ends up turning out. I'm going to bring this with us just in case we decide to do something with that. And cool. Perfect. All right. Now we're even more weighed down. Let's head back over here. Ugh. All right, this is why we have alleyways. It's super handy. All right, general store, let's tackle this. Okay, so uh, first things first is we're going to need a counter space for the actual like person who's running the shop to sit. So that's where this is gonna go. It's gonna be an elegant table. I'm kind of sitting dead center here. Lots of space for that. Do these actually, like, they almost snap. It's actually kind of nice. Beautiful. So he's going to be sitting here. He's going to have his little area with his beautiful window behind him. Um, it's a little bit of extra space, but uh, the townspeople are actually kind of large because I'm using Gigantopithecus for them, so uh, I think it's going to work out. I almost wish I had put two of these end-to-end, -end, but I'm going to let it stay. I think it'll be fine. I wish you could also pick these up rather than destroying them because they do cost amber. I feel like that would be a good idea, but it is what it is. Okay, so there's that. Um, actually, yeah, why don't we just set these down next to each other? Why not? This will be a good way to, to display a bunch of items uh, kind of right next to each other is to kind of stack these up sort of end to end. I want to be really careful about placing these, though. So that they're not off a little bit. Nope, too far. There. Maybe? No, I messed it up. Every time I tap, it goes slightly off. And I'm still carrying ceilings here. Let's try this. 
All right, one more try. I can do this. I can do it. I'm gonna get it right. I'm gonna line it up. It's gonna be perfect. It's crooked. That's gonna drive me insane. All right. <laughs> Apparently not. Uh, oh man, why do these have to be so tricky to place? Oh my gosh. I honestly think placing tables this carefully, it takes forever and it's such a pain. But if you can get it right, it looks so good. I definitely wish there was an easier way to do this though. Because lining them up is a little hard. I can't be too close or I can't see it. And if I'm too far away, it's going to be crooked. Mm, it's a little bit off. It's a little bit off, but you know what? I think that's really, really close. And I think that's about as good as I'm going to be able to get, at least unless I spend an hour doing this. So in the interest of time, uh, I'm going to leave it and it'll just have to quietly drive me crazy. I just won't set much foot in here. That'll be the thing. I won't look at it too closely, and then it'll be okay. I can also cover it up with items, which is going to help. Oh, that was much better. Oh, that's beautiful. Okay. That was like a perfect placement. Um, cool. Okay, so now we have the central piece where uh, the guy will be sitting, and then we have end tables for him to put wares on, and it'll be uh, fantastic. All right, let's go ahead and keep working here. Okay, pony, start giving me some of your items. Uh, let's go ahead and start filling in storage boxes and bookshelves. I think these are like the next big thing that needs to be in here. Because obviously uh, it's not much it's not much of a shop if you don't have all of these wonderful items in it. So um, I do think I'm going to put like a storage box sort of over here. And then alternate that with bookshelves behind this counter. Yeah. All right. Now let's put down a bookshelf and see how that looks. These don't have to be absolutely perfect, but I do want them to look kind of good. So I'm going to try to place them kind of in a good spot. All right. Can we have a little... Okay. It sucks that you can't place them right next to each other, but we can put a little space between them. Which is still going to look good. Yeah, I still think that looks really good. Okay. And then same thing on this side, but I'm going to leave a little bit of space behind the counter so that you can actually see that window. There's really not a lot of space wasted in general stores that you see online uh, from the Old West. So I'm kind of trying to keep that in mind. How much space did I leave there? Kind of trying to keep that in mind as I do this build, but I also want to make sure that it... Uh, looks good too. So I don't want it to be so crowded that we can't get around. No? This? Yes? Use? Okay. Perfect. Okay. Alright, let's see how this looks so far. Excellent. I love it. I think the bookshelves in particular look really good because they actually kind of have some items on them. Um, so they look a little bit more natural than the actual storage boxes, which I think is really good. That's why I made so many bookshelves. All right, so uh, that's that. Now we're going to start filling in the rest of the shop. So let's go ahead and start placing some items. I think I might make some regular tables now because uh, that will be good for putting some other stuff on if I can find them. Yeah. Wooden tables. All right, I think I need metal for that, which I don't think I have at the moment. I think I cooked it all. That's all right. Uh, I can go get more if I need to. So uh, let's go ahead and start placing stuff on here, actually. All right, we'll have a fancy vase on the table. That's clearly for sale. And then I do want to start actually decorating with some of these premium items that I've been talking about. So we're going to go ahead and go in here. Um... And let's go ahead and look through the furnishings and decor. I think I want to look at rugs first. Rugs are actually super expensive, um, but you know what would have been possible to get is these large woven rugs. So let's go ahead and grab one of these. Ugh, it's going to hurt. The money's going to hurt. 
I may also actually get um, a wolf rug because those are actually probably not an uncommon thing or a bear rug, actually. Oh, let's get a bear rug. There we go. Oh, there goes all my amber. <laughs> it hurts a little bit, but it's worth it. This is going to be so worth it in the long run. Uh, yeah, let's go ahead and place this uh, rug. Luckily, these we can pick up. It's for sale, but it also looks nice. Um, okay, and then I think this is going to hang over the window here. Because bear rugs probably had to be pretty rare. It's not like everyone was going out and killing bears. Oh, yes. Oh, it's beautiful. Okay. Oh, perfectly over the window. I love it. I think that looks amazing. It's very intimidating. You come into the general store and you see that bear rug. I think that's awesome. Um, okay. So now I also do want to get myself a couple of other things that I had in mind. Um, I did want to get, come here, uh, these wall sconces because I feel like those are going to be super common in a Western town. I wanted to get a weapon mount uh, because obviously they would sell weapons. And I did want to get an armor stand. There we go. Okay. It hurts a little bit. It's a lot of items. Um, no, I don't want that. It's a lot of items to be purchasing with Amber, but uh, that is why I've been watching stuff all week, so that we could do this. I think it's important. So let's go ahead and put this over in the corner. Cool. So I can put some clothes on that. Um, and then let's go ahead and see about getting this placed. Yeah, weapons are not uh, cheap purchases, so I do kind of want to put this somewhere prominent. Yeah, we'll put it like right here. I think that looks good. That's an interesting noise that that weapon mount makes, but I think that weapon mount looks pretty good there. So that's where we're going to put that. Um, and then where are we going to put these wall sconces? Should think about the lighting. How many of these did I actually get for that, actually? Did I only get one? Oh, are they that expensive? Okay. Well, in that case, I'm going to need two. But um, I do want to place these on the wall so that we can actually see. Kind of high up, but not so high up. Oh my gosh, stop glitching through, please. I would like to place you right on the seam, but I don't think that's going to be possible. Perfect. Okay, so yeah, those are going to be probably the more expensive purchase because it's 50 amber just for lighting. I wish the wall sconces were a little cheaper. They're beautiful, so I get it, but oh man, does it hurt the amber. Um, okay, let's come in here and let's light this up. Oil lamps, definitely a thing. Definitely a thing that would have been in a general store, and I might at some point purchase more of these to place in the store. I think four in here would be perfect, um, but I'm also going to need some for the saloon and for the mansion. So this is going to be a lot of amber that I will eventually be purchasing uh, items with. All right. Can we? There we go. Sometimes the taps don't like to register. All right. It's a wall sconce, and you know what? Uh, what store is complete without toilet paper? We'll just do that. We'll just do it. We need it. Um, lamps also kind of need to be a thing, but I'm going to hold off on the lamp for now because I am kind of running low on the amber, and I did spend all week trying to save it, so it hurts a little too much to spend that extra 30. All right, especially when I'm not even going to light the lamp up because there's no electricity. Uh, this is Old West. We do things the Old West way. Although I'm pretty sure toilet paper hadn't been invented yet, um, or at least not widely used in the Old West. We're going to say it was, and we're going to sell it anyway, because it's important. All right, let's go ahead and put this in here. Can we get back here? Ah, where's the oil? Beautiful. Okay. I think it's starting to look pretty good. Now we need to start filling up the whole rest of these walls with more and more items. 
Um, and I need to get some of the other decorative items that I had grabbed or made. They're all over here in the smithy. Let's grab a few of these. Hop off. Okay. Yeah, there. Gimme. No, I don't want this door now. I just did all that. Uh, that's not the smithy. Okay. The problems. All right, uh, I think we're going to sell pistols instead of the long neck rifle. We're going to grab all these to put on the armor stand. Trust, I have a plan. Okay. All right, let's run over this way. Now that we can actually carry all these. Durango has been endlessly helpful. Endlessly helpful in collecting items because some of these things are actually like super heavy to transport back and forth. Uh... Let's see how that looks. Pretty good. I think it looks pretty good. I think I might want to change the hat um, to something a little bit more Western themed. We'll see how it goes. But for now, I think that looks okay. That's not an uncommon hat to have found in the West. All right. And definitely need to place uh, this toilet paper. Oh, yeah. It needs to be prominent. Oh, can I not place it on this? Why can't I place it on a foundation? No! Oh, plans ruined. That would have been so much better. They should make this stackable. You definitely should be able to place this inside a building. Alright. I'm upset. That's okay. I will save it for another time when we need it. Uh, that is the definition of hoarding. That's what we're gonna do. Okay, let's go ahead and pull out these and these fancy chests and uh, start placing these, as well as a couple of just random storage boxes. Oh, mistakes. Mistakes were made. That might be too many. Uh, I don't really want to put back all of these things here. Just enough that I can move. This is, there we go, a little bit high for me to get up to. All right. Um, okay, so this whole back wall is going to be full of these bookshelves, I think. Mm. All right, and we're going to place them um, uh, pretty close together, as close as we can kind of get. It sucks that they all look exactly the same. I wish I had more models or ways to, like, flip them so that they looked slightly different from each other. But still, I think it's still going to look really good um, and give kind of that cluttered feel that I'm really going for with all of this. Uh, let's do this one, because I can fit one more. That. I can fit one more next to this armor stand. I can do it. Perfect. Okay. I wish that didn't look quite so tech, but, um... Otherwise, looks pretty good. Alright, and then we're gonna have, like, a shelf here behind this rug. Actually, I wonder... I might move this rug. Um, yeah, I might actually move this rug to underneath this table. We'll see how this goes. Because I do want to make kind of an aisle way. Can I place it, like, slightly under the table? Oh, boy. I have no idea how this looks. Yeah, there. That's perfect. For the customers to stand on as they make their purchases. I think it's awesome. Uh, it's getting a little dark in here, but I can kind of still see. Hopefully you guys can as well. Okay, so let's go ahead and make like our little bit of an aisle way here. Just behind the rug. I'm actually going to place the first one. Is this like two? Two-ish wide? Yeah, that's about right. That's about right. I want to kind of line those up. Perfect. Okay. And I can extend this a little bit backwards if I need to, but... I think this is going to work to kind of divide the store a little bit and make it look a little bit more... full. There we go. Oh my gosh, it's getting super dark. It's going to be really hard to see here in a minute, but uh, hopefully you guys can kind of see what I'm going for here. 
I'm gonna have like this front aisle way and then have this and we are of course gonna have uh, more structures placed along the back here I'm gonna go ahead and keep placing structures because this is actually kind of dragging on a little bit um actually here I think we're full enough up front it's just that it's so dark all right I do want to place these fancy chests down as well yeah, because I think those are going to look really good. We'll place one here, too. Alright, the idea is just to put, like, different kinds of boxes all over this door so that it looks good. That ah, okay. Can I... I know I can place this a little closer to the table. That's a thing. Apparently it's not. Game hates me. Alright, there we go. Good enough for now. Alright, so since it's getting dark, guys, um, I'm going to go ahead and take a quick break here and try to fill up a little bit more of the store. Um, and I will bring you guys back when it's done and kind of just show off the interior just so you can kind of get an idea of what it looks like. Um, yeah, so we'll do that. I will catch you guys in just a minute. Okay, guys, so we are back and I think this is finally done, or at least as done as it can be for right now. Uh, so let's go ahead and head in here. Um, Alright, so when you come in, you're going to see this uh, kind of divider here, which I think splits the room nicely so that it looks like there's actual aisleways for shopping. I did go ahead and extend it by one more row of boxes so that it looks good. Um, there are kind of these crates kind of stuck around so that it looks like there's just more uh, general goods in the area. Um, some bookshelves and boxes along this line, obviously, are closed for sale in the corner. More bookshelves along the back, um, more crates, more things. We do have a vase, and of course there are going to be some bear traps for sale, because it's a western town, and, uh, the bear rug itself. Now, I may change the color of this bear rug at some point, because I think this is too orange. I want it to look a little more like a grizzly bear, so I may look for, like, a pale brown bear. Um, we did get our pistol up. Uh, more of these fancy boxes stuck around that I think look really, really good in the area. They just look nice. Alright, and then obviously, like our vase as well. I'm considering other things to put in here that would make it look like the place uh, is selling more. And I may put another rug down back here, uh, depending on how much amber I save up. That may be a thing. Um, now I am a little concerned because there's so much empty space in the top of this building and I'm kind of trying to figure out what to do with it. I might try to make it a two-story just on this side um, and then have like a railing or something that would look pretty good and more boxes up top. Let me know what you guys think because I do want some input on that. I'm not sure exactly what I want to do with that yet. Um, obviously the bear here I think needs to stay. I think it looks amazing, but, um, the rest of these walls aren't really doing anything at the moment. So I do want to put something a little bit more interesting up there if we can. Yeah, guys, but otherwise, um, I really like it. I think it looks good so far. I think there's obviously more we could do in here, but, uh, for now, I think it is amazing. So... I think, guys, that is actually going to do it for today's episode. So, um, if you did find yourself enjoying this one at any point, guys, please do remember to hit that like button because it seriously helps me out. And if you want to see more content like this, you can, of course, subscribe. I will catch you all in the next one. Signing off, this is the Iguana.